I want to welcome everybody who is viewing and listening to this film. In 2015, when Brian visited us in the Diocese of West Lang, I had an interview with them. And through that interview, it became something great that has made this vision and this program. During that time, they were able to witness one of the school girls of a school in the district of Oyam called Anyeke Primary School. The girl was lying down and it was lunchtime and they thought the girl was sick. Upon asking why the authorities had neglected that child, I told them she is not sick. The problem is hunger. Such a child, what I told them, comes from a very poor background where one eats once in a day and poorly. Because of that, uh, the, the performance of most of our children in the part of the nation are poor because they go to school empty stomach and come back in the evening when they have neither taken any drink or any bites. Through that, therefore, uh, Brian was able to take up very seriously the issue of livelihood. Most people have been relying on plowing using their hands and horse, but that one could not do much, basing on the type of soil that is hard that needs to be broken. Therefore, through the interview and also inter interaction, we felt the best way we could support our people to help them rise up from the level where they were to a better level, where they could have something better, a better harvest in their homes. A better harvest comes in two ways. One, you will have plowed a bigger part of land. Secondly, you would have used better methods that makes yields better. So I want to thank my brother Brian for taking up that program and helping to pilot it in Masindi Kitara Diocese. Today we went and saw with our own eyes the fruits of that vision. That through ox drawn plows, families can plow more land and in a better way. Crops can be planted on time, basing on our unpredictable seasons. The use of other methods that are being used now, like using fertilizers and many technical methods has helped the families. The yield that has come just at this trial moment is so encouraging and it's a big blessing to everybody who sees it. In my own understanding, I've seen that the communities who have seen this technology work have been converted to know and understand that when they follow instructions and advices that are given, they can have better yields and hence uh, the family will be able to develop and have better things in their home. They will have, first of all, food security because they will have enough to eat and surplus to sell. The surplus that is sold will help one in education of the children, two, in health issues, three, in making the family a better place to live in, four, when there is surplus, somebody can very ably save something to wait for any eventualities that can come. Poverty has many repercussions. One, children cannot go to school as expected. It encourages and is a backbone to school dropout. High level of school dropouts is based on poverty. Two, our poverty brings in the element of early marriages in families, basing on the cultural background from which one comes. Because their parents who still feel with, they have that cultural mindset that girls are born to bring dowry. So once a girl comes to the level of P5, 
they just don't look at the future as leaders, as other workers, but they look at them as people who are ready to bring in some income to the family, which is short term. An educated girl or educated boy, holistically, is a material that will help the entire world to develop into a better place to live in. Therefore, I want to uh, make an appeal that my dear listeners and viewers, could you, by God's grace, stand with us, stand with Brian in this appeal, that we can bring transformation of both mind, body, and spirit to the people of this nation and the children of God. For more information, please contact Brian Bennett at the email address on the screen.